Effective Group Discussion Strategies Throughout my decades as an educator, I've discovered that the best ways to conduct group discussions involve following several key points. Select committed group members who willingly engage in discussions rather than being coerced. The optimal group size is 4 to 5 members, a larger number tends to create a crowd. Familiarize yourself with the discussion topic beforehand, ensuring that all members are equally informed to facilitate a productive conversation. Utilize a question and answer approach. Prepare questions and answers in advance, using different scripts for variety. Discuss all questions thoroughly, providing the correct answers and explaining why they are accurate. It's crucial to document these answers. Encourage each group member's participation by rotating the chance to answer questions. Subsequently, discuss the correctness of each response. Upon completing all the questions, review the answers together, marking incorrect responses for further discussion. If needed, consult the subject teacher to clarify the correct answers. It's also very important to appoint a moderator to steer the discussion and prevent digression. If the group deviates, the moderator should redirect the focus. Always establish the start and end times for the discussion to maintain efficiency and ensure total focus on the discussion. Group discussions serve as an excellent method for solidifying learned concepts. Research consistently shows that they significantly enhance retention rates. In a typical school schedule, it's possible to incorporate two separate subject-focused group discussions, each lasting between 40 minutes to one hour.